Uh, hi, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Pudil. I'm continuing the class series of uh, DBOC, Biology for uh, Computer Science Engineers, uh, Module 5, the topic, second topic, uh, that is 3D printing. Okay, so this uh, might have circulated, already have circulated. I uh, describe the basic principles of bioprinting, evaluate the impact of different bioprinting materials, tissue engineering outcomes. With mark distribution description of bioprinting principle carrying four marks, evaluation of different bioprinting materials carrying uh, six marks. Okay, so it integrates advanced manufacturing technique with uh, biomaterial science to uh, to revolutionize the tissue engineering and regenerative medicine. Understanding bioprinting principles and selecting appropriate material are crucial for enhancing tissue engineering outcomes. Okay, so the representation it is represented here how the process is done. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel by seeing the presentation. Okay, so process 3D, uh, whatever required, uh, what, what to be printed, that is need to be scanned, exactly how the shape, everything need to be analyzed and the design has to be made uh, using a system and we have to use a uh, ink, the bio ink, the material which can be used to print the organ uh, biological uh, materials that need to be prepared and it has to be uh, taken in such a way that uh, the 3D printing takes place. Normal uh, 3D printing of objects at the same way, the 3D printing of biological objects can be done. This is one of the heart it is getting printed. So real uh, printing scheme at that area only is taken and kept here. Okay, so description of bioprinting principles uh, uh, carrying four marks. Uh, the definition and process uh, definition says that bioprinting it is an Additive manufacturing technique. Additive means adding, uh, adding something to that. That is called additive manufacturing technique, which constructs biological structures layer by layer. Okay, yeah, you might have seen how the 3D printing uh, works in the normal, uh, the mechanical uh, material-based uh, printing. It, it goes in a layer by layer layer, and finally it becomes a 3D printed object. So it's a layer by layer using bio ink in place of uh, the normal. Uh, synthetic material which are non biodegradable here yeah, biodegradable biocompatible materials are used uh, which even contains the living cells uh, mix along with that now how this process takes place the design the bioing preparation printing cross linking solidification that is representing this image only okay now this image no need to draw but given to, un to understand how it how it works so design digital models from the medical imaging or uh, the CCAD, you would have studied CAD, from the uh, CAD are used to create the blueprints of, of the one which has to be made for the tissue structures. Bio ink preparations are formulated using biomaterials. It may be natural or it may be synthetic polymers. They are mixed with the cells, the growing cells which are having life and with some of the uh, chemicals or uh, components called as a growth factor which make them to life because whatever the printed one it should start working along with the other organs along supporting to that now printing layer by layer deposition of bio ink uh, takes place in a very precise very precise uh, spatial arrangement to in order to mimic the native tissue architecture uh, cross-linking or solidification uh, techniques uh, like uh, uv light exposure temperature change, chemical reaction uh, that solidifies the bio ink uh, to become a very uh, solid uh, construct just like the organ in, in that shape it comes. Now what are the types which are used, different types uh, you already used in uh, bioprinting, extrusion bioprinting, inkjet bioprinting as well as the laser resistor bioprinting. Again the images are only to make you people to understand what it is. Uh, if you write that uh, matter, that is enough from my side if I, if I evaluate uh, this one. So extrusion bioprinting uses uh, the pneumatic or uh, mechanical force uh, to uh, to extrude uh, the bio ink through a nozzle onto a substrate. Okay, so pneumatic is represented here, which uh, with the gravitational force only the printing uh, takes place. Or it uses a piston which pus uh, pushes that one or it uses a screw type so that rotation of the screw makes that material to come down a uh, little bit pressurized in a pressure way okay so these are the different extrusion methods available uh, inkjet bioprinting 
uh, in which the droplets of bio ink are jetted onto a substrate using thermal or uh, piezoelectric mechanism okay so a heat of bio ink is taken bio ink droplets are taken and using the print nozzle the printing takes place okay okay so uh, laser assisted bio printing it uses laser energy to precisely deposit bio ink onto a, a substrate here you can see using a mirror the laser is concentrated on a on the ribbon uh, below the ribbon uh, the bio ink is kept when uh, laser comes uh, it creates uh, the bio ink starts flowing uh, becomes a jet then finally it uh, sit on the substrate when based on the requirement the ink will be struck on that that is laser based bio printing now applications uh, uh, tissue and organ regeneration it uh, develop the functional tissues and uh, organoids for uh, transplantation and uh, disease modeling uh, drug screening i uh, create uh, tissue models for uh, testing the drug efficiency toxicity in uh, personalized medicine uh, then uh, biological research study of uh, cellular behavior tissue development uh, disease process in uh, controlled environment are some of the some of the major applications of uh, bioprinting now evaluating the different uh, materials which can be used in uh, bioprinting uh, it may be natural polymers or synthetic polymer or hybrid uh, and uh, the composite materials or decelerized extracellular matrix can also be used some of the examples advantages and challenges are mentioned here if it is natural polymers like collagen gelatin algin alginate or fibrin they are back compatible that advantages they support the cell adhesion and growth but challenges the disadvantage is that their mechanical properties are not that much good synthetic polymers like plga pcl and peg they are tailorable mechanical properties degradation kinetics and surface chemistry is good biocompatibility is a concern because though they are uh, called as bio biodegradable bio polymers biocompatibility as is a concern to uh, compared to the natural polymers hybrid composite material like hydrogels reinforced with nanoparticles hydroxy apart with uh, graphene oxide is an example it combines the benefits of natural and synthetic material uh, uh, complex uh, uh, formulation compatibility issues between uh, components uh decelerized cellular material uh, derived from tissues like heart liver or skin native skin and microenvironments by active molecules retained support cell attachment and differentiation variable composition batch to batch variability potential immunity are the around the challenges or limitations now impact of bioprinting material on uh, tissue engineering outcomes uh, the cell viability and functionality mechanical properties bioactivity and biocompatibility degradation and tissue remodeling uh, cell viability and functionality evaluate how materials affect cell viability uh, proliferation and differentiation within the printed constructor need to be uh, need to be evaluated assess how material stiffness elasticity and tensile strength influence the tissue integrity and functionality about the mechanical properties bioactivity and biocompatibility consider the integration between uh, materials and the host tissue which we use in our body uh, present in our body uh, minimizing immune response and promoting the their integration among them uh, uh, control material uh, degradation rates uh, to match uh, tissue regeneration timelines ensuring scaffold stability and uh, functionality over time examples of tissue engineering outcomes uh, uh like uh, vascularized tissue constructor that is bioprinted blood vessels and the cardiac tissues for uh, heart repair it it, can, it is done uh, bone and cartilage regeneration implantable construct for uh, orthopedic applications skin substitutes uh, wound healing burn treatment using bioprinted skin graft if any wound is there uh, the bioprinted skin kept over the wound so that uh, Mainly, it will match with the skin and uh, uh, even the regeneration also takes place. Okay, so that's about uh, next topic is electrical tongue, electrical nose, and uh, application. Okay, so this is about the bioprinting method. 
that is the application uh, how this biological concepts are uh, uh, used and applied uh, to get uh, the models which are useful working models uh, or replacement uh, organ replacement that is there in this particular chapter, particular uh, module fifth module so thank you very much for watching